do that was very important? He was the what? President. He was the president. Uh -oh. hey. and playing video games. That sounds nice. It does. <laughs> so this Christmas, the match figured, they do everything they could to get Santa to hang out a little bit at their house. So Mrs. Mac baked sugar cookies, a chocolate cake, and six cherry pies. Mmm. Mr. Mac and the two children who are named Monte and Mabel, hung out the brightest lights so Santa wouldn't miss them. Just like the lights you guys have in front of you were telling me about, that you guys had. And so then they waited. And they waited, and just as Monte and Mabel were about to fall asleep, they heard the thunder of heavy hooves on the roof. What do you think that is? And the reindeer. That's got to be Santa, the kids shout. When they peeked downstairs, sure enough, there he was. He's leaving a bunch of presents, and he's gobbling up some of the goodies. You see him looking at eating that cookie? <laughs> he just shuts his mouth. Do you guys eat cookies like that sometimes? No! You just eat little bites? No, you I'll bet sometimes he's just like, ah. That's what I do. Like a That's right. Like a cookie monster. So Santa's a little bit like a cookie monster. Then. So when so when he rushed out, Monte and Mabel followed Santa to sneak a peek at Santa in his sleigh. Look at—he's got the nice sleigh. He's got the reindeer. So and, and, he, and he's sitting in there. Except, there he was on his cell phone, speaking to Mrs. Claus. Yeah, it's been a long night, babe. He called Mrs. Claus, babe. Yeah, it's been a long 
all night, babe. But I'm finally done. I'll be home in two shakes of a reindeer's tail. Oh no, he's leaving. Little Mabel grumbled. And Mama made all that good food too. Santa turned the key, pushed the flashing green button in his sleigh, but nothing happened. The sleigh just went and then it went clack, 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 clack. Santa lifted his hands to his heavens and he yelled out in frustration. Figgy put it, which I guess is how Santa curses. <laughs> Figgy put it. <laughs> so Monte and Mabel, they knew what to do. Come on back inside with us, Santa. See, so they, they got Santa by the hand. And so Santa went inside, he borrowed a laptop. You know what a laptop is for a computer? To order a new part for a sleigh over the internet. This tiny little doohickey called a yip yip fuse causes the sleigh to float. The reindeer just pulled the thing. So there was only one problem. The yip yip fuse would take three days to arrive. But that didn't worry the max. Stay with us, the kids shouted. And Santa said, how kind. I suppose I could use a little vacation. So Santa's staying in their house. Would you guys like to have Santa stay in your house? Guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. Yes. But I looked out the window. Santa, he was, he was, and, and he was, he was on the road. He was on the road. <laughs> you should have invited him inside. So that's what the Max did. Which I did when I was so, so, so they invited him inside. When they finally fell asleep. It wasn't for very long because it sounded like there was a big storm brewing outside. Bam, bam, boop, bam, bam, boop. Turns out Santa liked to play in a band. And he had invited some guys over to jam with him in the garage. Look at him. What's going on with Santa? <laughs> and then it turned out feeding Santa was a full-time job since he was super hungry from the holiday preparations. So Ms. Mag had to make a lot of trips to the store to keep up with all the food that Santa was eating. Because Santa, it turns out, eats a lot. Guess what? Mom so, he, so, 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 so he was eating all, the, all their food. Guess what? Santa especially loves slurping spaghetti sauce from the jar. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, he's slurping it down. Look at Santa. Monty and Mabel had their hands full helping. Yeah, he's the guest, Mabel, an incredibly special guest, too, but even he got tired of doing the dishes after Santa, cleaning up after Santa. Guess what? Wait and listen. Mrs. Mack had told Santa to feel right at home, and he sure did. The next day he felt so at home, he took Mr. Mack's limited edition motorcycle out for a spin without asking. Oh, no. So you know that made Mr. Mack salty. <laughs> when he brought it back, a mirror was dangling off. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. You can ask for a new one next Christmas, Monty said, but Mr. Mac didn't think that was funny. <laughs> the next morning while working out, I, I mean, Santa's actually pretty fit. Yeah. <laughs> and you know Santa got some tattoos. <laughs> next morning while working out, Santa accidentally stomped on the new tablet he had bought for Mabel. <gasps> Mabel couldn't help but roughing. She balled up her fist, scrunched up her nose, and and shouted, what do you think she shouted? Santa. Santa's got to go! <laughs> Monty didn't want to admit it, but his baby sister was right. Yep, it's time for Santa to bounce. <laughs> Fortunately, just then a box arrived at the door with a yip yip fuse. But Santa wasn't in a rush. I'll fix the sleigh first thing tomorrow. Tonight I have a jam session, he said. So the Max decided to give Santa some space and spend the last night of his stay. They went to a local hotel. <laughs> Much later that night, Santa put on his PJs, got ready for bed. When he make, went to make himself a cup of warm milk, he found a letter taped to the door. Dear Mr. Claus, we're glad you got a chance to unwind and take a little vacation. Now we need one too. When we invited you to stay, we had no idea what housing Santa Claus would be. 
Now we know. Thanks for the presents and for making this Christmas one that we will never, ever forget. Sincerely, the Max. Huh. Eh. When the Max returned home the next morning, they were happily surprised. The place was spotless. Santa had restocked the fridge. He replaced everything he had broken. And he got to go. No, he, no, he did have to go. But he had not, now, he also left a nice little note. He said, Dear Mac family, thanks ever so much for allowing me to rest my old bones in your beautiful home. I hadn't had a break from work for so long and needed this mini vacation so bad. Your kindness and patience are what the Christmas spirit is all about. I'm going to brag to all my friends about getting to stay at 4550 Wellington Lane with a family that truly opened up their home and their hearts to me. Peace and much love, Santa Claus. Three weeks later, the doorbell rang. When the Mac family opened the door, they could not believe their eyes. Uh oh, all the elves showed up. They were going to crash at their house, too. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody going to be staying in their house. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So. The uh, hi, yeah, Santa, also known as Barack Obama. So, 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 I just wanted to uh, tell all you guys that the story is about being nice to people when they need some help, right? Eh? So, and, and and you got to do that not just during Christmas, but all all the time. So when when your friends need something, you can be nice to them. When they're feeling sad, you cheer them up. Guess what? If you have some uh, cookies, maybe you share with them so you don't eat all the cookies yourself, right? Because Christmas is all about... You shared the cookie with her? Guess what? Or a birthday cookie. My mom said she's bringing cupcakes to school today. Well, that... Oh, well, look, you know, that's wonderful. What, is, it, is, is, it, is it for me? Everybody's gonna get some cupcakes. Well, that's nice. They get, they, they get four. Everybody gets four. I don't think I can eat four cupcakes. I would, I would have a tummy ache if I ate four cupcakes. Anyway. So, so, and I want everybody also during Christmas to be nice to their. I want everybody during Christmas to be nice to their teachers, and I want them to be nice to their parents. Okay? Okay. Is that right? Okay? Because, you know, let me tell you, Christmas isn't here yet, so Santa's still keeping his list. Santa's up the moment. Yeah, well, but he's still keeping his list now. He's watching if you're naughty or nice. And if you're nice to everybody, then Santa will come. But what might happen if, you, if you're naughty? Are you naughty? Are you naughty? Are you naughty or are you nice? You're nice, I thought so. Okay, uh, should we all take a picture together? Yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna sit right in here in the middle, and then we'll take a picture over here, all right? Now, the only thing is, I'm kinda old, so once I sit down, I want to sit on your after we take the picture, everybody's gonna help me to get up, all right? Okay? I don't know, we're going to place back this way. Yeah. Sir, we need to place that. We need to what? Oh, the camera's over here. Everybody turn around. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, everybody. Everybody got to get in there. Get in there. Oh. Hey, buddy. Come on over here. Everybody faces me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, buddy. Thanks. All right, everybody's looking at me right now.